The Securities and Exchange Commission has ordered the closure. The Securities and Exchange Commission orders the revocation of Ang online certificate of incorporation of online news site na Rappler. We felt that going to get PDRs which don't give any ownership or any control would give us the ultimate independence. Rappler try to pierce the identity and you will end up American ownership. EIA funded, ganon na mga, mga Ned, Rappler, yung mga ganon. In 2016, Rodrigo Duterte was elected promising to wipe out drug-related crime. It will be bloody, he warned. The funeral parlors will be packed. <laughs> he has kept his promise. Thousands have been killed, many among them the poorest in society. <laughs> Rappler, your uh, articles are ripe with innuendos and pregnant with falsity. We do not uh, intervene in uh, the affairs of the armed forces. Since you are uh, a fake uh, news uh, outlet, then uh, I am not surprised that your articles are also fake. Maria and her team are a shining example of principled resistance to the erosion of democratic norms. They have also shown how a newsroom led and staffed by women can stand up to a misogynist president. Rappler received the Free Media Pioneer recognition for its innovative approach to journalism and audience engagement and its determination to hold authorities accountable from the International Press Institute in partnership with international media support. The National Democratic Institute also gave Rappler the W. Averill Harriman Democracy Award for its work in fighting disinformation and fake news. Rappler's Marawi in 360 virtual reality documentary won top prize for best use of online video at the 2018 Asian Digital Media Awards by Juan Ifra and Google, and the first prize in the innovation and bleeding edge category of the 2018 Boomerang Awards by the Internet and Mobile Marketing Association of the Philippines or IMAP. For continuing to shed light on issues that matter, Rappler was also awarded the Data Journalism Website of the Year at the Data Journalism Awards by the Global Editors Network for its hashtag SaferRoadsPH campaign that tackled road safety issues in the Philippines and put together visualized information on road crash incidents and how it can be prevented. Meanwhile, Natasha Gutierrez received an honorable mention from the Society of Publishers in Asia or SOPA 2018 Awards for editorial excellence for her story on The Rape Within the Family, the Philippines' Silent Incest Problem. Rappler CEO and Executive Editor Maria Ressa also bagged prestigious awards. The Golden Pen Freedom Award from the World Association of Newspapers and Publishers or Juan Ifra. It comes at a crucial time when our organization and Philippine democracy are struggling to survive. The Journalist of Courage and Impact Award from the East-West Center, the 2018 Knight International Journalism Award from the International Center for Journalists. You don't really know who you are until you're forced to fight to defend it. The IX International Press Freedom Award from the University of Malaga. And the Gwen Eiffel Press Freedom Award from the Committee to Protect Journalists or CPJ. Then every battle you win or lose, every compromise you choose to make or to walk away from, all these struggles define the values you live by and ultimately who you are. Ressa is also one of four Time Persons of the Year for 2018, the Guardians of the Year. 
As of December 2018, RESA faces five tax evasion cases, apart from complaints filed before the Department of Justice, one for alleged violation of the anti-dummy law and another for cyber libel. I'm going to hold my government accountable. You know, this is the time to fight. This is the time to tell people, here, here's the line. And you have to make sure that our government doesn't cross it, because when it does, we're no longer a democracy. We at Rappler decided that when we look back at this moment a decade from now, we will have done everything we could. We did not duck. We did not hide. We are Rappler, and we will hold the line.